Hi, I thought I would share another quick and easy meal. Um, something I've been trying to learn how to do is cook in smaller batches. I used to, I was a single mom and three kids and I got really used to cooking a lot of food and it's taken me a long time to learn how to just cook for myself. Um, but along the way, I found some fun, quick, and easy meals. Um, again, I mentioned in my previous videos that I have chronic pain. Um, one of the things that's difficult is standing around in the kitchen for a long time and doing a lot uh, for a long period of time in the kitchen. So I like to make my meals, plan them out, um, and then make them quick and easy. <laughs> so I don't have to spend a lot of time standing in the kitchen. So I will show you um, what I'm cooking up tonight. Um, I have all these corn tortillas. My my um, friend gave me a whole stack of corn tortillas. I don't usually buy them, but I hate wasting food. So, and they are gluten-free. They're not the best thing for me to eat, but <laughs> I do enjoy tacos, so. And I found an interesting way to uh, create soft tacos, and I want to share them with you. All right. There's my favorite little cast iron pan. Um, now I'm going to use it to make my own version of chorizo and eggs um, with some plant-based sausage. Um, it's already sausage, so I'm going to cut up the sausage and fry it up with some eggs and some greens. And then I'm going to make my special tortilla, cheese tortilla shells, taco shells, um, with Swiss cheese. I have the Swiss cheese, and I have my tortilla. So I'm going to show you what I do. Um, I thought it was pretty neat that I tried something and really liked it, so I want to share it. Okay, here's what I'm going to be cooking. So here is my sausage. This is smoked apple and sage plant-based sausage. That's very good. I have my spring mix. I have my salsa, and I just already put the olive oil in the pan. And there's the tortillas and cheese, because I'm going to put them in the toaster oven. You'll see what I do in just a minute. Okay, so we are going to cut open the sausage. And I'm just, like I said, I'm cooking for one. And... I'm just going to take one and I'm going to put these away. And I have to take them out of the skin. I wish there was a better way to package those. Um, I'm going to cut it down the middle. Usually have a better knife, but it's dirty and in the dishwasher, so just using what I have. And cut small pieces. And I forgot to show you the seasoning. I know I said chorizo, and you're probably wondering, well. How is it supposed to taste like chorizo? Well, <clears throat> so I'm going to put cut that again. again. I'm going to get a towel for my hands. Okay, put that in the pan. Go ahead and 
put the sausage in the pan. Put that in the sink. Don't need that anymore. Put my olive oil away. Out of the way. That's already in the pan. Okay. And I forgot to get the eggs out. So here's the eggs that I'll be using. Here are the eggs that I'm using. Um, I'm going to take one egg and put that in with the sausage. The sausage is already pre-cooked. So, the two can cook together at the same time. <clears throat> and I'm going to use this chorizo seasoning. This is my favorite spice for doing like tacos or something. I love chorizo and I used to eat chorizo before I was vegetarian or vegan and now I can eat it again because this company makes some good seasonings. Seasoning. There. And I just use a little bit. And this little packet lasts me for a long time. Just fry this up pretty quickly. A chorizo flavored dish. Now I'm going to add some greens while that's cooking. Always seems like you're putting way too many greens in your pan, but they cook down to almost nothing. Put the eggs back in the refrigerator. Okay, so now I'm going to make my tortilla. Um, sorry about the lighting. I think I can get a little better lighting. Here. Might be a little bit better, not much. I've got some shadows. I still haven't figured out like a good way to do that. But so I take, I'm gonna get a plate. Sorry about the loud noises. Okay, so here's my tortilla. So I take my tortilla and I put take two tortillas. And I take some Swiss cheese. Today, tonight's vegetarian, not vegan. Some meals are vegan, some are vegetarian. So this is, and I put the two tortillas together with the Swiss cheese, and I put them in my toaster oven. And of course, I have to put a tray underneath because the cheese melts right out of the tortillas. So I just toast it. You can see my tortillas are toasting. I'm going to make two of those. There's my 
dinner all fried up. My chorizo, egg and sausage, and greens. And that's ready to go as soon as the tortillas are ready. So I'll show you again what I do. Oh, that's what the shadows for my <laughs> And I take a piece of Swiss cheese. It is very challenging to do this with one hand. <clears throat> piece of Swiss cheese. Another tortilla, and I sandwich those together, and I put them in the toaster oven, and we have a toasted, I toast it just slightly, but not hard. I like soft tacos, so this melts the cheese, toasts the tortillas a little bit, and then, but leaves it nice and soft. Okay, so now... My tortillas are ready, so I'm going to take about half of each of half of this, put half into each into each taco. Most of it ends up a <laughs> bunch of it will fall out because it's okay. So. I'm still getting the hang of this camera, holding a camera while I, while I do things, so. I'll get this all on there. I'll have to get a fork so I can eat all the stuff that falls out of the taco. There are my tacos already, except for one thing. I need my salsa. Okay, and then a little salsa on each one. Ah, there we go. And those are ready to eat. Delicious. Oh, these look so good. And I'm finishing up my homemade jasmine tea with jasmine, mint, and a little bit of dandelion. And it has some turmeric and ginger in there. It settled to the bottom. Oh, that's okay. And I am ready to eat. This is going to be so good. I know it's all, <laughs> most of it's going to fall out, but this is going to be so good. Look at that. So you can see the cheese coming out of the middle of the two tortillas. Ooh, that's good. If you want to know anything about the tea that I made, there's a video in my playlist. Um, a short video of how I make my own homemade sun tea with jasmine and other flowers that I collect outside. So it's all hand-picked flowers and homegrown flowers. And then... Um, just set out in the sun and a few hours later you have some delicious tea. Just add a little lemon or sweetener, whatever you want to it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, as you can see, I used one sausage, one egg, a handful of greens, and four tortilla shells. Um, and two pieces of Swiss cheese. And some salsa, of course. And a little seasoning. So that meal was quick, easy, budget friendly. Um, <clears throat> and saved me a lot of time 
standing around in the kitchen. And I got two tacos with more food in them than you would get at a restaurant. Those were like, to me, that's restaurant quality. And I don't have to go to a restaurant. Blah. I'm trying to find my words. <laughs> no restaurant, no ordering out, no fast food, no packages. The other thing I'm trying to do is get towards a zero waste goal. Um, that's really hard when you're on a limited budget. Um, when you're on limited income and all you have is a few dollars to stretch all month long, then it's hard to do completely zero waste because I collect food from the food bank and I can't control how they package it, but I can control what I do at home. So all of my packaging and um, I either reuse any plastic that I have any way I can. I And I will do a whole other video about that. I'll give you a tour of, um, hopefully someone will like that, a tour of how I try to go as close to zero waste as I can get. So I hope you enjoyed this cooking video and I hope you'll tune in again and check in for my next video on getting close to zero waste as a person on a limited income. Bye for now.